Welcome to Quarantined with Dr. Navarro, Antonio, and Fluffalicious. Have you ever noticed that one leg begins to be shorter than the other? Well, if that is happening to you, or is currently happening to you, here are three moves that should fix you right up. We need to do these in the order which I'm showing you. For best results, do them in the morning, before you start your day, and before you go to bed at night. Also, you will need a wall with nothing on it, a floor mat, and a ball the size of a softball. Are you ready? Here we go. The first thing that you wanna do is you're gonna be working the affected leg. So let's say, for example, that it is your left leg that is shorter than the right. You're gonna sit down on the floor, and there's a little indention where your femur goes into the sacroiliac joint. We're gonna find that area by applying pressure, and you'll find it, I promise you, you'll know where it is. Right when you get that little area, it's gonna be the top of that bone that goes into the joint, your leg bone, the femur. You're gonna apply pressure just by rolling side to side. And that's it, that's as much as you're gonna do. Move your ball away, you're gonna lay on your right side, you're gonna bring your left leg up as high as you can. You wanna get a nice active stretch through the inner thigh and the hamstring. Now when you're on your side, make sure you're not leaning back. You wanna push the right knee into the floor. Use your left hand to keep you upright. Extend your leg up as high as possible. You're gonna point your toe, lock your knee. We're gonna bend and come forward and tap one, two, three, four, five. Extend the point. Flex, one, two, three, four, five, extend the point. Flex, one, two, three, four, and five. You'll do that three times. Then stand up, place your high knee against the wall, take a step forward, make sure that you can place your shoulder blades, your rump, and the back of your head on the wall, keeping a nice arch in your back, lock your knees, Hinge forward from the hips, keeping even pressure on both heels and your butt cheeks, keeping that duck butt position, that means the arch in your back. Find your stretch and hold one, two, three, four, five. That's it, that should fix you up. Now remember when you're doing your ball rollout, do not overdo it because you can cause more harm than good. Until next time, see you soon.